hey, I was just about to cut a bunch of peppers and I thought, maybe I'll video this now that I have a tripod and I'm trying to give this a, a go. Um, so bear with me on um, my videography skills. I'm doing this by myself. But sweet peppers, lots of different ways to cut them. And I watch a lot of chefs on TV cut off the entire top and I'm like, oh, you're wasting some of the best parts. And by the way, my two dogs are sitting behind me because they know what the best parts are and they know that it's usually theirs. So if you hear any whimpering in the background, it's these guys waiting to get a piece of pepper. So bear with me while I play with this thing and get it to focus on my hands. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to take a pepper apart and save most of it, or utilize most of it. So here we are, there's my cutting board, there's my pepper, my knife. My favorite way and the easiest way and the way that I usually teach people to do this is go close to the core, take your knife, get it as close to the core as possible. So you see where I am. Go down and take off one side. Now you can see everything that's happening on the inside. So simply go around, leave the pith or the white parts that, that uh, this stuff inside, and you've used almost the entire pepper. So here's a couple of little pieces from a doggies. They're gonna go over there. I'm gonna take off the white, take out some of the seeds. And over here, you still have a little bit of the white. It's not a big deal. I just find it a little bit bitter. So if I'm gonna be cooking with it, I'd like to get rid of it all. So I'm gonna take that away. I'm gonna take this one away. And you can see it's pretty easy and most of the seeds stay with the core. Now, the other way to do this, let me move this one aside and I will show you, is this one. I'm gonna leave the stem attached, leave the entire thing. I'm going to take out a small piece like so, okay? That goes off. Now, we're gonna go all the way around and keep it attached, but you can see that I'm avoiding, oops, I cracked it. I'm avoiding the pits and the pith and the membrane, and I've got the same effect as I did with the orange one, but I do find that with this method, I get more seeds inside. So I do like the first way that I did it. I'm also gonna have to flatten this to be able to slice it and dice it anyway. So you choose which way you like, but at least that way you have all of your meat. You haven't wasted a whole whack of flesh. Oh, here's a good piece for the dogs. But they're so happy. And uh, that's it, that's a sweet pepper for you. I hope that that helps in some way to make your life a little bit easier in your kitchen. I hope that you, like my videos and I hope that I get a little better at it. Anyway, have a great day in your kitchen and take care. Bye.